What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So from the title of this video, you guys already know I'm excited to get my Civic SI back. Uh, so you guys didn't know, my Civic SI has been at the shop for slightly over a month. Um, I got rear-ended over a month ago and uh, yeah, car has pretty much been at the shop. Um, thankfully, car still drives and runs and everything, it just got rear-ended. So the HFP rear lip that I got, that is discontinued and rare, is damaged. But the shop managed to take care of all the repairs, got it nice and good. Um, they also went ahead and took off the side skirts and reattached it even though it's not damaged. The only thing left to do is I do have to fix the exhaust. Uh, because whenever I got rear-ended, it also crunched in the exhaust a little bit. So the whole exhaust sits further in. Um, so yeah, I'll be heading to the shop today. Uh, probably picking it up, getting back home, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'll be having my boy Albert in the RSX come and pick me up. So he'll pick me up, go to the shop, pick up the car. We'll probably go to an exhaust shop to get the exhaust fixed uh, and just hang out. And my Uber is here. <laughs> cool Uber ride. That's Albert and his little boy. Julian. Julian? <laughs> yeah, one for the vlog. <laughs> All right, so like I said, we're gonna go See the SI, it's been over a month, so yeah, let's head to the shop. So just got here to the shop. You guys didn't know I work here. I'll give you guys a little tour around the shop later. Because it's Albert's first time at the shop as well. And the RSX, Civic RSX, I know some of you guys missed this car. I see my white Civic SI over there in the corner. She's all fixed and ready to go. So yeah, pretty excited to get her back today. So here's the boss's car. His Civic Type R. Sitting on some raised gram lights, the same wheels I have on the RSX, but in blue. If you look, they're exactly the same. Uh, we also have a Toyota Chaser over there, that's really cool. Japanese right-hand drive car. Bunch of cool cars. E-Man brought out his big lifted Jeep. But yeah, here's the shop. Oh, we have a lot of cool cars here. Oh, the Lexus? Ooh, he liked the fancy cars. Uh, this E-Man's car, he uh, he off-roads with this Jeep, so he doesn't just build it for show, he actually off-roads. Yeah, with those tires, you gotta be off-road. His suspension and everything, like, yeah, he's he's pretty hardcore. You think he wants to, you think he wants to toe tag from the back girl now? <laughs> so he bought the EK, the EK Civic. He's building that right now. Oh, he did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's you know his new project. He said that Type R looks like my old, my old four door EK, and I was like, Ooh, <laughs> same family. Hey, same family, but this truck over here is a Honda Acti truck. I know some of you guys want me to do a review on this. This truck is super cool because it's uh, really small. It's a K truck. It's right hand drive. It's all wheel drive. Yeah, it's all wheel drive. Uh, it's manual. Uh, what else? It has a motorcycle engine, so pretty cool. EM1 Civic Si. In for some hail damage. This thing is clean. You don't see EM1s too often anymore. What's up, Johnny? On my vlog? I'm working today with my vlog. <laughs> Johnny is our PDR guy. And Project EK for E Man. This used to be Melvin's. They replaced the fender. Small little stuff. Project. Project car. And they're dropping a K20 swap in it, so it'll be pretty fun once all done. And this is uh, Brian's Lexus GS300. Super clean. One of my favorite GS300s in Texas. 2J. What's cool about this one is number one has been turbocharged. Not many GS300s are turbo. He also swapped out the big brakes. I believe these are big brakes from an Lexus LS400, I think. Uh, and then being a show build, you know, interior is done. Like this, this car is just super clean. And it's at the shop because it's getting a custom front bumper, fenders, and side strips done. Something super rare in JDM. Uh, I don't know the brand exactly, and he doesn't want to show it on social media, so I'm not going to show it until it's all done, but yeah. His car is clean. And just 
bump into the homie Mondo over here at UE. And I haven't seen Mondo's R8 in a few months. The last time I saw it at the last show, he wasn't twin turbo yet. Now he recently put on the Boost Logic twin turbo. So yeah, this thing is pretty gnarly now. He's trying to dial in his tune, but ooh, check out that titanium. Or Show like car that. status. This is, their, this is their supercar. Indie style. Engines right here too. V10. Louis Vuitton? Oh yeah. And right now I'm driving my Civic Si. Feels so good to be back in this car. Yeah, it's just like I say, it's been about a month since I've driven this car, and I really miss driving it. Like I say, it's so good to have my Civic Si back. Here's a walk around of it. And if you guys remember, the damage was on the rear end to the HFP rear lip. Now it's all fixed. And to look a little different, instead of the matte black the lip came with, I was long the painted gloss black. So it stands out a little bit more. You also have to fix the exhaust a little bit. And we also have Albert's RSX here. Parked side by side, no ding squat. Try to park away from everyone else. And yeah, we're here to grab some lunch. All right, foods are here. We're at a Japanese spot with Albert and his boy. <laughs> because his son wants a sushi. Yeah. Japanese food is good. Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> here, filling up on gas on my SI. It's been a while since I got gas. Only takes premium, so expensive. That Shell V power. And I think Albert also spotted a homie. We have McGill. I think that's McGill in his white. Uh, his blue Civic Type R because he's the only blue Civic Type R with white wheels in Austin and we came over here because McGill's Type R is here so from far I was like I'm pretty sure that's McGill's because in Austin he's the only blue Type R with white T37s so yeah if you guys didn't know fun fact McGill's my first Civic Type R friend uh, he's also the first Civic Type R in Austin who bought it back in 2017 Oof, the blue carbon hood scoop pops. White T37s, just clean combo all around. So we have my Civic Si all parked in the garage and she's parked beside my Turbo Lancer. And beside the Lancer we also have my brother's Smart 5 Supra. So yeah, all of them are parked at the same spot right now. Um, this is just gonna be the SI's temporary home, but uh, yeah, just a little place to keep her. Mr. Lancer as well. Albert hasn't heard his startup yet, but I don't have the keys with me. But uh, yeah, here she is. The hood is popped, so you can just look around. I just washed it down. I want to say last weekend because it was pretty dirty. Yeah. But yeah, here she is. And just got our drinks. We got a mango smoothie. A little what? snow cone, what watermelon snow cone? Yeah. And what you get? The mango nada smoothie? Uh, <laughs> Pina colada, colada smoothie. So made it back home. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. All in all, I'm really happy to get my Civic SI back. Again, big thank you to Long as well as AJ for helping me on my Civic SI, getting it all repaired. Looks like new again. Also, big thank you to Albert for you know driving me around. Like I said, I needed a ride to the shop to pick up my car. Um, and then I went to run some errands off camera, got my hair cut. So if you guys are wondering, why was my hair longer and now it's so short because halfway during the day I went to run an errand after lunch. Uh, we also stopped by somewhere to get some snow cones and smoothie because it's a really hot Texas summer day. And then pretty much Albert dropped me back home. So yeah, he was my pretty much my Uber driver for today. He also left me with a little present. He was collecting like Hot Wheels and stuff for a long time. And this one's actually in the S2000, so super cool. Big thank you. I know some of you guys collect Hot Wheels, but yeah, super awesome. He gave me a black Civic uh, EM1 Hot Wheels a while back. So yeah, I'm gonna add that to the collection. I don't have that many cars. I have a lot of Lego stuff. This is a Lego Porsche that I built, Lego GTR. But all in all, like I said, fun day. Dropped it off at the house. Gotta see my Lancer, gotta see the Supra. You guys stay to the end. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.